now on Coast TV News. We're looking at the first 70 degree weather of the season today and more to come the rest of the week. Some rain is in the forecast as well. Not a washout. I'll pinpoint it on Futurecast next. We're left hanging and that is why there's so much speculation and at this point so much distrust in our district. Fear for Milford families. You heard one mother right there. This is more information comes forward on a threatening situation last week at city schools. Heated renewable energy rhetoric has to do with that beach that we're showing you. Now supporters and opponents of a wind farm have their say about plans for that land. Homelift and Lewis, the proposed policy that could change the way buildings are constructed there in the future. This is Coast TV News Today. And welcome to our six o'clock hour. It is Wednesday, March 13th, 2024. Good morning. I'm Matt Pensick, flying solo here at the desk. Paige Marley is off this morning. First alert meteorologist Bob Trihe joins us again on what is shaping up to be a day where we are expecting some 70 degree temperatures, Bob. That's right, Matt, and it's only the beginning. I think we're looking at a stretch of 70s on the way. We got close yesterday. We're into the upper 60s for many, and it's a chilly start. Definitely need the jacket out the door where the winds are light. We're in the low 40s in Salisbury and Del Mar, mid 40s elsewhere, and along the coast right now into the low 50s. So we're seeing calm winds inland. That's why it's a little chillier and a bit of a breeze along the coast. And we're looking at mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. There are some clouds that are moving in. Now, we still have high pressure in charge out there, but you can see the clouds and they will be moving in, but they're not going to prevent us from warming up today. As this high slides offshore, we start getting into a southwesterly flow and really warming up. So 40s early on and then by 9 a.m. We're in the lower 50s already a little cooler at the beaches by noon. More in the way amidst a high level clouds already mid 60s from Salisbury to Millsboro, Berlin around 66, but cooler along the beaches with a bit of a sea breeze there. And then by 330, we're looking at look at that. 70 degrees around Selbyville up to Georgetown and Del Mar, but cooler at the beaches. So remember that and still very mild into this evening. So you definitely need the heavier coat even later today for the ferry ride over to Cape May. Temperatures in the 50s this morning and we're looking at light winds and then lower 60s by noon and much warmer inland. Bob, strong opinions on a proposed wind farm off of our coast and use of land at the Delaware Seashore State Park for transmission lines that would connect the wind energy to the power grid. That's what we saw last night at a public workshop at Bethany Beach Town Hall. Meeting focused mostly around the power lines that U.S. Wind is proposing to bring on to 3R's Beach. But interestingly, Denrec's website said it was not covering or commenting about the wind turbines themselves, since there's been opportunities to talk about them in the past and more will be coming in the future. People at the workshop not shy to share their opinions on the potential project. This is being pushed through so fast and I fear for our sea, I fear for our animals, I fear for my grandchildren I don't have yet, and I fear for everybody's, everybody who lives around here. I have a two-year-old daughter getting ready to turn three. You know, my job is to protect her, to keep her safe, and part of that means making sure she has a planet that is habitable and can afford to her what it's afforded to me. State permitting process for U.S. project has not yet begun. According to Delaware Governor John Carney's office, Denrec has been in negotiations with U.S. Wind for two offshore wind projects since December. And these discussions are dealing with a state land lease. Claims that this will lower electricity costs and investments in workforce and environmental programs. The challenge for these projects is finding suitable locations for the undersea cables before the lease is finalized. Public information sessions, like last night's, are being scheduled. This morning, police in Milford continue to search for Thomas Caffrey. He's the 59-year-old Lincoln man who caused a lockdown at Milford School District schools last Thursday. When he delivered a note to school district administrative offices. This is the envelope that was dropped off. It reads, this is out of control. School district is dangerous. No student discipline, none. I will go to news media outlets to report this. Inside, there was a note that said, she is done. If my husband gets upset, there is not enough police or National Guard to stop him. You have been warned. The note was accompanied by a building key and a district access key card. Police confirmed Caffrey used to work for the school district. And in the aftermath of that lockdown, many parents took to social media saying they're even more confused now than before. Police revealed that someone else, not Caffrey, was banging on doors at the school during the lockdown period. And now parents are deciding whether or not to have their kids back 
in school. Kim Britton is a mother of three boys that go to Milford Central Academy. She tells Coast TV her sons will do schoolwork online this week as a precaution. I truly feel that there are so many parents at this point. They're so uneasy with everything going on. If they would just offer a virtual aspect to learning right now, they would have more parents on board with what's going on. We were left hanging. And that is why there's so much speculation and at this point, so much distrust in our district. And police haven't said if they're searching for any other suspects in the case or if that person banging on the door during the school lockdown had anything to do with it. Now, as we continue to walk you through this situation, after Thursday's lockdown, Milford closed schools on Friday, reopened on Monday. The district has encouraged parents to allow students to come back while the investigation continues. We'd just like to remind everyone that the safety and well-being of our students, our staff, and our community members remain a top priority. Every threat that we are receiving is treated with the utmost seriousness, and we're dedicated to upholding a secure learning environment for all. The district says it's upped its police presence at schools and has extra counselors on site this week to help students. So what's next? Caffrey is facing four counts of harassment. Police believe he is driving a gray 2012 Nissan Titan pickup truck with Delaware plates or a vanity tag with a number VF6493. If anyone who knows of Caffrey's location, they're being asked to contact authorities. Developing news in Lewis, where two ordinances are being considered by Lewis Mayor Andrew Williams and the City Council. According to the city, the first changes how high a building must be off the ground or above flood level. This would apply to new buildings and buildings that have been repaired or have been heavily damaged. A second ordinance reduces maximum lock coverage by 5%. Lock coverage is how much of the property is covered by buildings. Public hearing is scheduled for this for 5.30 p.m. on April 1st. Moving on marijuana in Dewey Beach later this week, the town council there preparing to tackle the topic. The town is looking into a proposed ordinance, proposed change that is, to marijuana laws. It would set fines for possession of small amounts of marijuana for $200, and town officials say that matches Delaware state regulations. This will be reviewed at the council meeting that is set for Friday at 3 p.m. We are in a public comment period for wetlands and waterway permits in Sussex County. Denek is considering the following application. One is to modify an existing dock at South Bay Shore Drive in Milton. Also, there is a request to build a dock at the Little Ass Woman Bay at Fenwick Island. Ocean View Land Development asking Denrek to dredge a lagoon at Sandy Cove Marina and Town Homes. And Rehoboth Beach wants to install a living shoreline at Silver Lake. All public comments for these applications are due by March 19th. A new bill in the Delaware General Assembly would create a watchdog to keep the state government honest. That's what they're saying. Senate Bill 21 aims to create an office of the Inspector General. Supporters say the nonpartisan agency will be responsible for investing, issuing public opinions, and initiating civil proceedings against state officials accused of violating the public trust. If the bill passes, the office would be in effect by early 2025. A lawsuit against Delaware's ban on rifles like AK-47s and AR-15s is moving forward. This was in the U.S. Third Circuit Court of Appeals in Philadelphia. It's filed by the Delaware State Sportsman Association. It deals with a pass bill that makes it illegal to own, buy, make, or sell all these types of weapons. The lawsuit is in the oral arguments phase. A decision is not expected for several months. Now taking a live look at Washington, D.C., and in that building on your screen on Tuesday, it was tense. It was a hearing that took place over classified documents President Biden kept during his time as a senator and as vice president. Former special counsel Robert Hur was on the hot seat answering questions about his investigation into Biden's handling of those documents. And NBC's Bree Jackson shows us how it's just the latest chapter in the upcoming presidential election. Special counsel Robert Hur under fire for his report regarding President Biden's handling of classified documents that included accusations about the president's mental fitness. Mr. Hur, you, you, you cannot tell me you're so naive as to, to think your words would not have created a political firestorm. Hur defended his assessment. I could not make that determination without assessing the president's state of mind. For that reason, I had to consider the president's memory and overall mental state. 
Republicans raised concerns of their own. So Joe Biden knew the rules. You know he knew the rules. And Joe Biden told us he knew the rules. So, Mr. Herr, why did he break them? Congressman, the conclusion uh, as to exactly why uh, the president did what he did is not one that we explicitly address in the report. Her disputed claims that his report was a complete exoneration, even though he did not pursue charges. The White House maintains President Biden is innocent. The conclusion was simple, that there is no case here. The case is closed. It's time to move on. The focus is on the 2024 election. Both President Biden and former President Trump secured enough delegates Tuesday to clinch their party's nomination. The president saying voters have to make a choice about the future of America. Trump taking to social media. So we're not going to take time to celebrate. We'll celebrate in eight months when the election is over. November 5th. Trump is expected to attend a hearing in his own classified documents case in Florida Thursday. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. White House doubling down on its pledge to form a task force to ensure classified information is handled properly moving forward. We're getting started in this second hour of Coast TV News today. Coming up, flooding frustration. We'll tell you some of the possible solutions to deal with an ongoing issue. Also, debate over sales tax decrease. That's what's happening right now in Maryland. I'll tell you what is being discussed in the state legislature. And road repaving in Ocean City, how it could impact your daily commute near the Maryland coast. All that and more as Coast TV News Today continues. Hi, I'm Chris Adams from Mattress Peddlers, your local family owned Serta mattress store. Do you toss and turn at night? Do you wake up in pain? A mattress that's too firm or too soft to be the source of your suffering. But you don't want to jump to extremes. The solution is usually somewhere in the middle. Buying a new mattress is quick and easy, so stop in today and sleep on a better bed tonight. Mattress Peddlers. For more information, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. Join us for the Coast Country Care Supply Drive for Operation We Care, Saturday, March 23rd from 11 to 1 at Hawker's G&E Supermarket in Bethany Beach. We are accepting donations of items for Operation We Care's upcoming Care Package Packing event. Let's show how much we appreciate those who go above and beyond for our community. See you on Saturday, March 23rd from 11 to 1 in Bethany Beach. For more information, go to coastcountry.com. Coast Country Cares, sponsored by Spicer Brothers. Give your backyard a cozy enhancement with Patio Systems in Lewis, Delaware. Integrity is the pillar of our craft. With quality craftsmanship to transform your yard or deck into a custom oasis, providing you comfort all year round. Take control of the elements with the Shore's best selection of pergolas, retractable awnings, screen and glass enclosures, and a wide selection of modern decking and railing systems personalized your way. For exceptional workmanship at reasonable prices, contact Patio Systems, your backyard living specialist. Locally owned and operated since 2001. Hi, I just had to tell you Bally Casino has partnered with Bet Rivers in Delaware. We've got lots and lots of exciting slots and table games to play. With really fast payouts and a rewards program you'll love! Plus, with award-winning customer service, the excitement never stops. Is this awkward? So get ready, casino fans. And Brittany. Brittany. Bet Rivers and Bally Casino, together in Delaware. Download the app today. It is 614, chilly starts on this Wednesday morning. Boardwalk Plaza camp still really dark out there. 52 in Rehoboth. We've got 40s inland areas right now. 41 in Del Mar and Salisbury. That's the coldest I could find. Everybody else in the mid 40s, at least we're not scraping frost. Lower 50s along the coast. Winds are calm, but the general direction is out of the west and eventually southwest. And we will start warming up big time today. We are seeing some mid to high level clouds. Not a big deal as we have high pressure in place. Some thicker clouds to the west, but this high pressure slides offshore and that's when we really start to warm up. So good looking day along the boardwalk in Bethany Beach, light winds and temperatures 40s and 50s this morning, a mix of sun and clouds, 60s late morning and then close to 70 inland later on. Scheduled to resume on resurfacing Baltimore Avenue between North Division Street and 15th Street in Ocean City. We have video here from our coast copter of Baltimore Avenue and you can see crews working on this project. And they will work Mondays through Thursdays from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And on Fridays from 7 to noon, there will be lane closures until May. 
This weekend, the Sussex County Health and Wellness Fair is happening from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Georgetown Shear Center. And here are some things you can expect. There will be free information and screenings available on top of services such as oral exams, Meals on Wheels, and Narcan training, just to name a few. Costco is tapping into precious metals for investors and collectors. The retailer recently started selling a 25-count tube of Canada Maple Leaf Silver Coins online for $675. In September, Costco started selling gold bars online for $2,000. Costco is leaning into this new trend as precious metals are becoming more valuable. A prominent safety group tested advanced driver assistance systems such as Tesla Autopilot, and it was not impressed. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, which rates cars and SUVs for safety, tested 14 systems it gave 11 of them a poor rating. It says none of them did a good job monitoring driver attention. Still ahead, debate over sales tax decrease. We'll tell you the details of the possible change in Maryland. And dry roads, good visibility, as you can see right now, Tidal Health Cam in Salisbury. It's chilly out there, but we've got a big warm-up. The first 70s of the season starting today and lasting the rest of the week. Some rain chances as well, not a complete washout. I'll pinpoint it on Futurecast in two minutes. Welcome to Beach Barrels. No matter where you're from, you're always a local at Beach Barrels in North Ocean City. Enjoy great times and great vibes at our unique bar. Try our award-winning Prima Hoagies that are made fresh to order. Cheer on your favorite sports team on our numerous big screens. Our live music scene is out of this world, hosting the area's best local and regional acts. Come in, grab a seat, or enjoy our brand new outside deck featuring beautiful palm trees, comfy seating with a tropical vibe. We're open every day from 10 a.m. till 2 a.m. See you at Beach Barrels, 133rd and Coastal Highway. With all the choices of services on Delmarva, where do you even begin? Trust experts of various fields with Delmarva Experts. Sponsored by Kitchen Concepts Plus, Chesapeake Eye Center, Apple Discount Drugs, FLC Energy, Spicer Brothers Construction, Mattress Peddlers, Homewell Care Services, Robinson's Jewelry and Coin Shop, Delmarva Acupuncture and Wellness Center, Mast Audiology Services, Riptide Restoration, Delmarva Day, and Buchanan Subaru. Visit DelmarvaExperts.com for various local professionals offering the best of Delmarva. Delmarva Experts, local experts right when you need them. Five WBOC. Welcome to new season with a deep cleaning by Stanley Steamer. Our certified technicians will renew your carpets, air ducts, upholstery, tile floors, and more, clearing away the dust and debris. We clean using powerful proprietary equipment and family safe cleaning solutions to leave your space looking and feeling fresh. Call or go online to schedule your professional cleaning with Stanley Steamer today. Six eighteen is the time. We have a live look here of Ocean City, and let's just let that warm up continue on this Wednesday, Bob. Not quite there yet, Matt. It's pretty chilly in some places. We're going to see 70s later today and the rest of the week. But to start off with, you definitely need that heavier jacket. Make sure you scan the QR code right there. That will get you to the Coast TV weather app. The forecast at your fingertips. Very important tool to have. And look at these warm temperatures. Average high now is 54. We'll be up to 70 inland areas today and a little cooler at the beaches. A little bit of a sea breeze there. 73 Thursday, 75 on Friday. And then a cold front comes through, then it does cool off for the weekend with 60s and maybe some showers on Sunday for St. Patrick's Day. But it's chilly where the winds are calm. 40 in Seaford and Del Mar, 41 in Salisbury and Greenwood. A little milder as you make your way towards the coast with lower 50s from Lewis to Bethany Beach as we've got light winds or calm winds or where it's calm. That's where it's chilly this morning. But we've got a quick warm up on the way today as we're looking at partly cloudy skies, mid to high level clouds, nothing in the way. 
of precipitation with these clouds as we have high pressure and this high will continue to slide offshore and as it does we'll start getting into a warm flow around that high and temperatures really start to take off. So future cast this morning we're in the 40s quickly rising through the 50s to mid 60s by the noon hour. You can see how clouds are increasing and it is cooler along the coast and then by 430 70 in Salisbury to Seaford to Millsboro to Georgetown. Very nice but cooler. Well 50s and lower 60s. Don't know if it's going to be 51 in Dewey Beach but certainly cooler with that sea breeze along the coast. We continue with some of the clouds this evening and by Thursday morning it is definitely mild. There were lows into the 40s at that time and another very mild day on Thursday at noon 60s and 70s inland and cooler along the beaches as we have a bit of a sea breeze there but inland we're looking at 73 from Georgetown to Selbyville, Salisbury 73, 73 in Seaford. So gorgeous conditions with temperatures a good 20 degrees above average and then as we go into Thursday evening the winds start picking up the clouds increasing and temperatures into the 50s and 60s. Friday we are looking at changes that day. Early in the day we've got a southerly breeze out ahead of a cold front. I think we do warm into the 70s but as we go through the day a cold front starts to move in and that will kick off some rain showers maybe a rumble of thunder and drop our temperatures as well into the weekend. A cooler and drier Saturday is on the way but then Sunday we see a system building in with another front and that brings more rain on St. Patrick's Day. You can see the green on the map. I guess that's fitting. I don't think it's going to be a complete washout on Sunday but showers will be around. Paul Davis seven day forecast 70 today warming through the 70s to mid 70s by Friday with some showers and then cooler for the weekend lower 60s Saturday St. Patrick's Day cloudy and a little misty just like Ireland 64 and then early next week 54 Monday and then don't put the ice scraper away just yet lower 30s right around freezing so could be pretty frosty early next week with a high of only 47 by Tuesday. Thanks for that, Bob. And a reminder that Coast TV has a brand new Facebook page for the latest news, exclusive content, interactive discussions. Make sure to visit and follow our new page. Just head over to facebook.com slash Coast TV NBC or scan the QR code that's on your screen. That way you can stay connected with us. A proposed bill could lower the sales tax in Maryland, but there's some people opposed to it and they worry it could make people pay more in the long run. Now, if the bill is passed, People living in Maryland would see a 1% drop for sales tax in the state, which would bring it from 6% to 5 But Amy Thompson with the Ocean City Chamber of Commerce says she thinks things that could be taxed, uh, there are things that could be taxed that currently aren't. Until this point, services haven't been taxed. And now every time you, if you're a small business owner, every time you, you know, deal with your accountant, all these other things that support your business, people are going to be taxed on. According to delegates who support the bill, it would bring in more money to Maryland overall for state projects, and the lower tax could encourage more sales. Lawmakers are still in the process on whether or not to move forward with this bill. Up next on Coast TV News Today, flooding frustration. We'll tell you about the possible relief coming to locals in Fenwick Island after a meeting addressed some concerns. Don't go anywhere. Watch for the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. Draper Media is seeking a passionate field correspondent for our daily and commercially driven lifestyle and entertainment show, Coast Life. You'll provide live coverage, produce pre-recorded programs, and maintain a strong digital presence. Candidates must have a dynamic on-air personality, be innovative, and show versatility while working with our clients. Learn more and apply today at drapermediajobs.com. Draper Media is an equal opportunity employer. Visit Tyndall's Casual Furniture, where comfort meets style and quality meets affordability. And affordability doesn't mean you have to compromise on quality. We are Delmarva's exclusive dealer for Pollywood, the name you know and trust. Pollywood dining sets start at only $9.95, fully assembled and backed by a 20-year warranty. We're also proud to carry made-in-the-USA brands like Casual Comfort and Telescope Casual. Plus, we have a wide selection of wicker by North Cape, all made with aluminum frames. So shop today with the local experts at Tyndall's Casual Furniture in Laurel and Lewis. Get ready for the opening of Jolly Roger Amusement Park. This will be our last sale before the season starts. Visit us online at JollyRogerPark.com to buy your discounted passes for the summer. And check out the passes for all of our parks from March 1st to March 28th. Use special code JollyBean2024 to save 25% off all passes and merchandise. 
Make 2024 another Jolly Roger Park summer. Dan and Cher here as our first duo coaches. Two, it's a lot better than one. Don't let her sweet talk it. I need a partner. Unbelievable. Boys. The Voice, all new, Monday and Tuesday on NBC and Peacock. On the Jennifer Hudson Show, Bachelor host Jesse Palmer, plus 90 Day Fiance's Sean Robinson. Wednesday at 2 on Coach TV. People in living Fenwick Island, they are well aware about the issue of flooding. The town's infrastructure committee met to discuss ways to help prevent some of these rising waters. Much of it focused on one particular flood-prone area. It's Bayside of Fenwick Island near the intersections of North Shoals Road and Dagsboro Street. It's where the town is looking into future improvements. We're getting fairly deep water out over this road, and we are about to actually do some paving work there. And thinking about maybe raising the road a little bit to help ease egress and access to that area. Fenwick Island recently applied for assistance from FEMA to help deal with these flooding issues, but they won't know if that request is approved until the fall. We bring back First Alert meteorologist Bob Trahe. Bob, if you liked yesterday, I have a strong suspicion you are going to love today. It was just so nice to open up the house yesterday. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you love today, you'll really love the next two days after, as I think it gets even warmer. But I think we're looking at lower 70s inland today, Matt, and cooler 60s along the beaches. We've got a lot of cold water out here, 64 Rehoboth, 67 Lewis, but Georgetown around 71, 71 for Seaford, Eastern Shore, America. Maryland looking nice as well, around 69 in Easton, 71 for Vienna and Federalsburg. And we're looking at highs in the low 70s from Salisbury to Princess Anne and Pocomoke City, around 71 for you. But you get near the water, it's a little cooler. Crisfield around 64 and the same too from Ocean City to Chincoteague because you're close to the water and we'll see that suddenly breeze only middle 60s for you. And we continue that warming trend the next couple of days. Some rain chances Friday into the weekend, not a complete washout. More on that forecast coming up in a few minutes. Matt. Break on Coast TV News today. The manhunt in Milford continues for this man after he launched a school district-wide lockdown last week. We'll tell you about charges he is facing. Also, Milford parents responding after the lockdown. We have what one mother planned for her children amid the ongoing manhunt. And transmission lines turmoil. We have the debate about possible offshore wind coming to 3R's beach in Delaware. Coast TV News Today will be right back. Get ready for the ultimate outdoor experience. Join us for the DSN Outdoors Expo on Friday, April 19th from 4 to 8 and Saturday, April 20th from 10 to 4. Showcase your products or services to thousands of potential customers at the Delaware State Fairgrounds in Harrington. Increase your brand awareness and reach a large audience at the DSN Outdoors Expo. To apply as a vendor and for more information, visit WBOCEvents.com. 16 years ago, we founded Community Bank Delaware with the goal of providing high quality banking services to our local community. Here you meet with decision makers, people just like you who live in and love this community. We provide the newest banking technologies to our customers, supported by our local team of banking professionals. Our bank serves clients throughout Sussex County and we continue to grow, all thanks to you. Community Bank Delaware, where community matters. Discover the Lodges of Coastal Delaware featuring two exceptional communities with one goal, life your way. The life at the Lodge at Truett Homestead is like being on vacation every day, featuring worry-free independent living and unparalleled amenities with the convenience of a monthly rental community. Moving right down the road, experience refreshing coastal living at the Lodge at Historic Lewis, offering independent living, assisted living, and our Compass Memory Care program. Engage in vibrant activities, build lasting connections, and savor each moment. Visit our website or call today to learn how to make the Lodge lifestyle yours. Find more than candy in your Easter basket this Easter. Find the perfect puppy from Puppies R Us in Bridgeville and everything you need to keep your new puppy healthy and happy. Now through Easter, we are offering $250 off your new puppy purchase, plus a free bag of Canada dog food. Also, when you call or stop by before Easter, you can enter to win a basket full of goodies valued at over $200. Family owned Puppies R Us Route 13 in Bridgeville, Delaware. Financing available. 
This is Coast TV News Today. March 13th, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick, approaching 630 on this Wednesday morning, middle part of the week in the middle part of March. And first alert meteorologist Bob Try he has what you need to know as you get ready to head out that door. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Matt. I think people need to know that they will be shedding layers today. So dress in layers, the heavier coat this morning, and then you can start peeling off those layers as it warms up today. But you need to bundle up early because it's cold in Del Mar and Seaford, 40 degrees for you and 40s inland areas with some 50s along the coast as as the, where the winds are calm. That's where we have the coldest temperatures now where there's a little bit of a breeze that's mixing things up and keeping us a little warmer. We're looking at mostly clear to partly cloudy skies, so we're looking at mid to high level clouds that are moving in. We still have high pressure in charge, but this high is going to slide offshore as we go through the day, and then we'll tap into more of that warmer air back to our south and west. So temperatures in the 40s early on quickly rise into the low 50s mid-morning. By 1130, we're already shooting into the mid 60s, so maybe you want to take lunch outside this afternoon as we'll see mid to high level clouds and then 70 will be a popular number. Lower 70s inland areas, cooler along the beaches, around 50s and lower 60s, depending on your location and the sea breeze and still very mild, looking great for those evening activities. And if you're going for a run, looking good this morning, temperatures in the 40s, quickly through the 50s, low to mid 60s later this morning by noon and light winds. So enjoy this gorgeous weather. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Thank you, Bob. Last night in Bethany Beach, people came out to see what the future of Three R's Beach could hold as U.S. Wind proposes to use that land for transmission lines. Coast TV's Charles Reinert shows us the differing opinions, some of them very passionate about this renewable energy project. It was a standoff on Route 1 today as protesters on both sides of the offshore wind debate made their voices heard. People against the project worry about the longevity of the turbines and its impact on wildlife. I wish people would do their homework. Virginia has cable landings happening right now, and it's destroying the neighborhoods. It's destroying, it's destroying the 24-7 the, the, the construction that's allowed to happen is causing houses to shake and crack causing mirrors to fall off the wall. This is directional drilling. It's very loud. But people for the wind farm see it as a massive opportunity, both for the economy and for clean energy. Climate change, public health benefits that come with that. And of course, you have a lot of economic investments that usually come um, with the development of offshore wind. Denrec hosted a meeting to talk about the possible construction of power cables for wind turbines at 3R's Beach. The agency says the cables would be about 60 feet underground in the ocean and construction would close down the beach briefly. If you've been to the 3R's parking lot, popular location for people that want to walk onto the beach or walk on and surf fish, swim, those type of things. It would have the, these manhole covers that would need access to occasionally. U.S. Wind is looking to build over 100 wind turbines off of the Delmarva coast and fisherman Christopher Connolly worries about how that would impact local sea life. I, you know, I'm not a scientist. I believe it will stop the stripers from migrating up at the coast. Um, I believe it'll affect the kingfish, it'll affect the flounder. It's, it's affecting everything. The winds of debate blowing strong in Bethany Beach. The state permitting process for the U.S. Wind Project has not begun yet, and this is still in relatively early stages, but as more information becomes available, we'll be sure to keep you in the loop. I'm Charles Reiner in Bethany Beach, Coast TV News. Brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know what is your view of offshore wind power lines? Here's an updated on the results. 71% opposing the project, just 26% support it. And then we have a couple votes for concerned about changes and need for more information. If you have not voted yet, you can still do so at coasttv.com or on our mobile app. This morning, police in Milford continuing to search for Thomas Caffrey. He's the 59-year-old Lincoln man who caused a lockdown at Milford schools last Thursday. Many parents took to social media saying they are even more confused now than ever before. It remains a tense situation there. The school district closed schools on Friday with a reopening for classes just two days ago. Police haven't said if they are searching for any other suspects in the case. The district has encouraged parents to allow students to come back while the investigation continues. So what's next? Caffrey is facing four counts of harassment. Police believe he's driving a gray 2012 Nissan Titan pickup truck with Delaware plates or a vanity tag with the number VF6493. If anyone knows of Caffrey's location, they're being asked to contact authorities. 
We are in a public comment period for wetlands and waterway permits in Sussex County. The department is considering these applications. One is to modify an existing dock at South Bayshore Drive in Milton. Another application wants to build a dock at Little Assawoman Bay at Fenwick Island. Ocean View Land Development asking Denrec to dredge a lagoon at Sandy Cove Marina and Townhomes. And Rohoth Beach wants to install a living shoreline at Silver Lake. All public comments for the applications are due March 19th. The Delaware Department of Agriculture accepting applications for what it is called the Resilient Food Systems Infrastructure Program. And according to the state, nearly $2 million is available to help agricultural Many things like processing, storing, and distributing locally and regionally produced food products. They can include specialty crops, dairy, and grains. The state says the program offers both equipment-only grants and larger infrastructure grants, but you must apply by April 30th. Getting a live look now at our nation's capital as we get ready for what is shaping up to be the longest run up to the general election in memory for president. President Biden has officially crossed the delegate threshold, clinching the nomination of his party. NBC News projects that Biden overwhelmingly wins Georgia's Democrat primary. Biden's portion of the state's 108 delegates make him the presumptive nominee there. Former President Donald Trump has secured the Republican nomination. NBC News declaring him the nominee after he secured enough delegates to seal the nomination. So what this means? Be a rat rematch of Trump and President Biden in November. Boeing's slew of recent mechanical problems could cost big. According to a passenger, a 787 Dreamliner heading from Australia to New Zealand abruptly dropped hundreds of feet mid-flight in what is being called a technical event. Last month, the United Airlines 737 MAX reported jammed flight controls during a landing in New Jersey. And in another case, the FAA found issues with the icing equipment for some Boeing planes. The FAA says it is giving Boeing until May to come up with a plan to fix the issues listed in a federal audit. Analysts say these problems could end up costing Boeing billions. More news to get to in this final half hour. Don't go anywhere. And coming up, road repaving in Ocean City. We'll tell you which areas you might want to avoid as a project could impact your daily commute down there. Also, hooping to the state finals. Stephen Decatur basketball looking to earn the school's third ever trip to the state finals. We'll take a look at tonight's Maryland semifinal matchup. Stay with us on Coast TV News today. We salute Tom Moore. Tom serves as the deputy chief at the Bethany Beach Volunteer Fire Company. His firefighting career began with a four-year stint at the Rehoboth Beach Volunteer Fire Company before moving to Bethany Beach in 1996, where he joined the local volunteer fire company and started his family. Moore has held various key roles, including assistant engineer, chief engineer, fire lieutenant, assistant chief, and fire chief. Beyond his volunteer service, he supervises the career division of the Millville Fire Company and works part-time for the Ocean City Fire Department, demonstrating his extensive commitment to the firefighting community. Spicer Brothers and Coast TV are honoring military persons and first responders serving Delmarva. If you have a family member, friend, or community member that you would like to nominate for a Coast TV salute, go to CoastTVSalutes.com. Enjoy 10 songs in a row. Sponsored by Pohanka Kier of Salisbury. Going solar can be a big investment. We provide quality equipment and first-rate warranties. Let Solar be your trusted advisor. We can provide you with a no-cost proposal, a second opinion, which could save you significant money. Solar helped us through the permitting, financing, and grant process. They offer a quality product at a fair price. Whether you have a business, a farm, or a residential home, Give us the opportunity to show you what we can offer. Please give Solaire a call today. You'll be shocked at the savings. Whatever your struggle, there's hope. Call Homes for Hope to schedule your same-day appointment. 
Draper Media seeks a detail-oriented overnight operations technician. This crucial role involves monitoring and managing over-the-air and content, plus quality control. Successful candidates are proactive problem solvers with knowledge in broadcasting systems like Grass Valley Ignite and Sony ELC. This position requires night, early morning, and weekend shifts. Apply today at DraperMediaJobs.com. Draper Media is an equal opportunity employer. From the court to your living room, catch the dribbles and the buzzer beaters. High school basketball lives here on Delmarva Sports Network. Local teams, big dreams. 640 on this Wednesday morning, seeing some daylight on our Tallinn and Razor Cam. 50 in Lewis, but much colder inland areas. 41 in Salisbury, up to Seaford, 41 in Greenwood. It's a little mild as you work your way towards the coast, and a little milder where the wind is blowing a little bit. It's calm, most inland areas, but a little bit of a breeze inland. As we're looking at mostly clear skies, we have clouds way up there where the jets fly. It's a high level clouds across Delmarva. We have high pressure in place, so we're not going to see anything in the way of of rain with these clouds and they're not going to prevent us from warming up either. It's going to be a big time warm up on the way. And for the kiddos off to school, make sure they have that heavier jacket 43 and it will be chilly and then heading home. Open the windows. Nice taste of spring 68 as we head into the low 70s. Another way to get your forecast is calling the first alert weather phone 443-880-9100. Your forecast just a call away and it's sponsored by Baird Mandalas, Broxted and Federico. Maryland Highway Administration currently working on resurfacing Baltimore Avenue. This is between North Division Street and 15th Street in Ocean City. We have video from our coast copter of Baltimore Avenue. There are crews working on this project. You can see some of that there. And the work will be Mondays through Thursdays from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Fridays, the schedule is 7 to noon, and we can expect lane closures in that area until May. Now an update to a story regarding the safe use of marijuana in Delaware. The Office of the Marijuana Commissioner has shared more rules they're considering. It covers from how to check if the marijuana is safe to how to throw away any waste properly. They claim they want to make sure that the before marijuana gets sold in stores, it's tested to be safe and of good quality. And they also explained how much it will cost to get a license to sell or grow marijuana. Public comments are due by March 29th. The Nature Conservancy is planning controlled burns in two Sussex County areas. One is at Middleford North Preserve. That's a few miles north of Seaford. The other one is at Pemberton Forest Preserve east of Ellendale. This will be this spring. Bridgeville says burns may be visible throughout the town, so just giving people a heads up there. And town officials are saying the burns are beneficial for habitats and grassland management. The Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Good morning. Stephen Decatur Boys Basketball is gearing up to compete in their first state semifinal since 2018. The number one seed Seahawks are facing the fourth ranked St. Charles with a 20 and 5 record. Decatur is coming off a 20 point victory over Linganore on Friday, completing a perfect home record this season. In that game, tribe wise, Bryson Coleman, Kareen Bolden, and David Chandler were all in double figures. The Seahawks' ultimate goal is to win their second state title in team history and first since 1970. Check out highlights on the final score at 10.30 p.m. In the NFL, defensive back C.J. Gardner-Johnson is returning to Philly, signing a three-year deal worth up to $33 million. During one season with Philadelphia in 2022, Gardner-Johnson had six interceptions, tying the NFL lead in interceptions while missing five games. He's also the only Eagle since 1970 to record interceptions in five straight games. This past season with the Lions, Gardner Johnson had 17 tackles, three passes defended, and two interceptions in four games. That'll do it for sports. Have a great day. Starting to see daylight out there right now. Hershey Exteriors can. We'll call it partly cloudy. 53, lower 50s along the beaches. Cooler inland and a big warm up. Lower 70s today. 70s the rest of the week and some spring showers thrown in too. Later in the week into the weekend. I'll have the details in two minutes as Coast TV News Today continues. 
turn your home into a masterpiece with artwork painting. Local professional painters at an affordable price. Artwork painting did an excellent job with our house. We were really happy with all of the pieces of work they did, uh, the drywall work, the walls, the trim. I would definitely recommend artwork painting for your house. Artwork painting treats our customers and their homes with care, delivering quality work and experiences. Call Artwork Painting now for a free same-day estimate. Artwork Painting, keeping Southern Delaware beautiful inside and out. Not happy with your utility bill? Help save energy by replacing your outdated, inefficient windows. At Spicer Brothers, we install new replacement windows and new construction series windows, built for extreme weather and high energy efficiency. And quality installation is just as important as the window itself. And you can have peace of mind on your new windows with the Spicer Brothers Platinum Plus Lifetime Warranty. And right now, buy two windows and get one free. Plus, no interest and no payments for 18 months. Spicer Brothers, because you deserve the best. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to today. Every day. We are adding to the star power in our studio. You guys are pretty good today. <laughs> Can we go to commercial break now? Everything and everyone you're talking about, only on today. NBC News Daily, weekdays at 1 on Coast TV. Solo Cup Saturday night with me, Jared. 7 to 9 every Saturday on Coast Country, 103.9 and 106.3. Sponsored by Midshore Recyclers Incorporated. Time is 646. We have our live look at Laurel. Chilly now, Bob, for most of our areas. But, boy, look at that color there in Laurel as we get a good look at that. And we're expecting that sun that we're getting that hint of to give us a little bit warmer afternoon. Yes, yes that's sun getting stronger and stronger, Matt, as we make our way through the month of March. And what a beautiful sunrise there. A gorgeous day on the way. And make sure you scan the QR code right here. Get your phone in camera mode. You can have the forecast at your fingertips with the Coast TV weather app. You can leave the plants outside the next several days. I've already done that with my lemon tree as we're looking at overnight lows in the 40s and 50s. So that means no frost or freeze. Thursday morning through the weekend into Monday morning. Then after that, things change. It gets very cold into early next week. So we're looking at a light freeze both Tuesday and Wednesday morning. Right now we're thinking temperatures right around that 32 degree mark early next week. So still a little early to get in the garden and plant because temperatures will be pretty cold next week. Give it a few more weeks. Temperatures now are cold, but not frosty. 41 in Salisbury and Del Mar. 40 in Seaford. Greenwood at 41. 50 in Lewis. 51 in Rehoboth at Bethany Beach at 51 degrees. As the winds are calm, most areas a little bit of a breeze along the coast. So where it is calmer and a little more protected, that is where it's colder this morning. So make sure you have the heavier jacket as we're looking at mid to high level clouds that are floating in right now, providing a beautiful sunrise. These clouds not producing anything in the way of rain. You can see this band of clouds over the top of us and farther back to the west as well. We have high pressure just blinked off, but it's there and it's starting to slide offshore. And as it does, the return flow around that high will start to bring in even warmer air as we go through time. And you can see it's pretty dry back to our west as well. So we're looking at dry conditions the next couple days with the warm up. Future cast this morning has us in the 40s, but we're quickly warming up through the 50s and then mid 60s by noon as we see more in the way of those mid to high level clouds. We'll call it partly cloudy 65 in Salisbury back through Seaford around 66 in Berlin, but it will be colder along the beaches. Will it be 49 in Dewey Beach? I think it's warmer than that. I think we're 50s and low 60s, but cooler there as I have a bit of a sea breeze, but it's not going to push too far inland because we'll have a west southwest wind warming inland cities into the 60s and low 70s. We keep it mild this evening. Perhaps you're out and about an evening jog or going out to dinner. We're looking at temperatures in the 50s and pretty mild as we start your Thursday morning into the 40s with mostly clear skies and another 
mild day on Thursday. 60s and low 70s by noon. Cooler at the beaches and we're into the mid 70s. Inland areas tomorrow afternoon. Gorgeous conditions, but cooler along the coast with the cooler Atlantic Ocean water. And then tomorrow evening it gets breezy with increasing clouds. One last really mild day on Friday. Then a cold front moves in and we will start to see some showers breaking out. Maybe some rumbles of thunder into Friday evening and Friday night. Maybe a little bit of heavier rain. Then that moves offshore and that's clearing us out. A good looking Saturday on the way. But then Sunday the moisture quickly returns. We're looking at clouds and maybe some showers on your St. Patrick's Day. Ireland is typically kind of drizzly and rainy and I think we could be looking at the same moving into your Sunday. Paul Davis seven day forecast. Gorgeous temperatures way above average. 70 today, 73 Thursday, Friday, 75 with those late day showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. And then Saturday is cooler, 61. And then Sunday, St. Patrick's Day, 64. Some of those showers and then sharply colder after that. 54 Monday, only 47 Tuesday. And temperatures near freezing both Tuesday and Wednesday mornings. Right, Bob, and again, for more weather updates, make sure to pull out your phone, scan the QR code. For our first alert weather app, you can download the app for free to get all the weather updates you need. If you're planning on going to the Ocean's Calling Festival in September, we have some transportation news for you. Jolly Trolley Charter Tours offering round trip shuttle transit to the festival. According to the service, they will provide scheduled departures from Lewis, Rehoboth Beach and Bethany Beach. So if you don't want to worry about looking for parking or dealing with the traffic during the festival, you can reserve your seats for the shuttle. You can actually do that now. Ocean City Spring Cleanup is back. Mark your calendars. It's Saturday, March 23rd. Town offering up free pickup service for big household items at residential properties only. We're talking about things like furniture, appliances, bicycles, carpets. Remember, though, no full trees or big construction waste can be picked up. Make sure items are curbside by 7 a.m. as pickup runs until 1 p.m. A blood drive by the Blood Bank of Delmarva heading to Dewey Beach next month on Monday, April 1st. There will be an event at the Dewey Beach Lions Club. And you can donate from 2 to 7 p.m. Registration now open with the Blood Bank. 6.51 on this Wednesday morning. Time to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day. And it's brought to you, well, actually, today's Coastal Pet is ready for the weekend. Cookie all dressed up, ready to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Love that hat. Cookie was sent to us by Donna in Millsboro. And we want to see more of your pets on Delmarva. Send us photos. Tell us what makes them so special. On your screen, you can scan the QR code that's at the top. And that way you can submit your furry friends to Coast TV News. And then you can watch weekdays like you're doing now from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all of the pets we feature. I do have a similar hat to cookies. It's got a big shamrock on it, though, ready for St. Patrick's Day. What a beautiful sunrise right now in our Tyndall's Casual Furniture Camp. A chilly start, but we've got some warm spring light temperatures on the way the next few days and some showers thrown in as well. And the weekend could be wet at times and then much colder next week. I'll have your 10 day forecast coming up after the break. It starts with our oldest family tradition, artisan bread topped with the finest hand-sliced meats and cheeses. Add in the freshest locally grown produce, but don't forget the mmm, mmm, mmm. In our house, it's not just a hoagie, it's a primo. Delmarva Sports Network is on the lookout for a social media promotions producer. Manage your digital scene and craft content that captures the spirit of local sports. Successful candidates have at least five years of experience and a passion for sports to produce thrilling videos that engage and inspire. Join our team and make a difference in how sports stories are told. Apply today at DraperMediaJobs.com. Draper Media is an equal opportunity employer. Not feeling well? Before you head to the emergency room, consider your options. The emergency room is for life-threatening issues. If you have an issue that is not emergent, please contact your primary care provider. They know you and your medical history and are best able to treat you. If you need care and you just can't wait or it's after hours, visit your nearest Your Doxen Urgent Care Center or Title Health Immediate Care. To learn more about the most appropriate place for care, visit titlehealth.org slash where to go. 
Visit Tyndall's Casual Furniture, where comfort meets style and quality meets affordability. And affordability doesn't mean you have to compromise on quality. We are Delmarva's exclusive dealer for Pollywood, the name you know and trust. Pollywood dining sets start at only $9.95, fully assembled and backed by a 20-year warranty. We're also proud to carry made-in-the-USA brands like Casual Comfort and Telescope Casual. Plus, we have a wide selection of wicker by North Cape, all made with aluminum frames. So shop today with the local experts at Tyndall's Casual Furniture in Laurel and Lewis. From inside Iran, from Israel, from Florida, from Lewiston, Maine. Part of our continued reporting. This is what a country at war looks like. Women, children. What is it like? Countless neighborhoods across the region that look just like this. Everybody good? It took for all this damage to occur. with our oldest family tradition. Artisan bread topped with the finest hand-sliced meats and cheeses. Add in the freshest locally grown produce. But don't forget the mmm, mmm, mmm. In our house, it's not just a hoagie, it's a primo. 6.54 and time for things you need to know before you go. A public workshop at Bethany Beach Town Hall. The meeting last night focused mostly around the power lines from an offshore wind farm proposed by U.S. Wind, bringing it onto Three R's Beach. Denrex website says it would not cover or take comments about the wind turbines themselves. State permitting process for the U.S. Wind project has not yet begun. A manhunt continues for the person you see right there on your screen. Police in Milford say that Thomas Caffrey delivered a threatening note to the Milford School District that launched a lockdown last week. And according to police, Caffrey is facing four counts of harassment. It's believed he is driving a gray 2012 Nissan Titan pickup truck with Delaware plates or a vanity tag with the number VF6493. Anyone who knows of Caffrey's location is being asked to contact authorities. Maryland State Highway Administration currently working on resurfacing Baltimore Avenue between North Division Street and 15th Street in Ocean City. In our video of Coast Copter Baltimore Avenue, you can see crews working on this project. And they will work Monday through Thursdays from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and on Fridays from 7 to noon. You can expect some lane closures in that area until May. Shake Shake is offering free burgers. All thanks to the Oscars. Earlier this month, the burger chain said it would give out free food depending on how long Hollywood's biggest night lasted. Show is shorter than the company predicted, so from now until Monday, customers can use the promo code BIGWINS to get a free smoke shack, a cheeseburger topped with bacon, chopped cherry peppers, and shack sauce. That sounds delicious. As Bob, I, start, I guess we're going to have to start thinking about lunch. Oh, it's only a couple hours away. <laughs> but it's going to be, it looks like we're going to have a great afternoon if you want to eat your lunch outside. I'm thinking lunch outside. I'd Matt, chocolate shake and a double cheeseburger. Mmm, good stuff. <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful day. It's a chilly start out there this morning. Make sure you have your heavier jacket. Temperatures in the 40s, but a quick warm up through the 50s into the 60s, lower 70s inland and 60s along the coast. Look cooler for you. A bit of a sea breeze there. Paul Davis, 10 day forecast. Even warmer the next couple of days. 73 Thursday, 75 Friday. Then a cold front brings us showers. Cooler for the weekend with 60s. Some rain for St. Patrick's Day. Really cold early next week. Some mornings near freezing. Cold early part of the week. But then warming up after that and some showers again by Friday. Thanks, Bob. And thank you for joining us here for Coast TV News Today. The Today Show is coming up next at 7 a.m. And then we will be back with Coast TV News at midday at 11. So stick around for that. And even more news and coverage, you can download our Coast TV news and weather apps. Until then, have a great Wednesday morning, everybody.